Now, I wonder if the only thing I'm going to say is maybe Tamika completely changes up and plays a completely different series. All ins, you know, changes, changes in his style, something like that. Because that, that's one way to definitely, you know, throw a wrench in new Phenomenal's gears. Take us away with these players. To spawn up in the right hand corner. Spawn is the Blue Zerg. Currently lost this last series. He is now the underdog. It's Tamikas. He'll spawn down the bottom left hand corner. He hasn't seen multitasking skills. Can he once again pull it off? We're just going to have to wait and see. It's you, former. I said that quite wrong. You, former. <laughs> It's an interesting name, I will say that. So it's Tamikas on the other hand. Wardy, where did you get your name from? Wardy? Uh, I don't know, my parents. <laughs> it's true, man. My name, my name is Jonathan Ward. And so that's what my parents called me. And <laughs> but because my parents were called Ward, I put the name Ward. And then I added an... I originally added a Y on the end. But then when I played WoW, I thought it would be really cool if I got rid of the Y and it was really hipster and added an accented I. And then I kept it for StarCraft. <laughs> Why the fuck did I not <laughs> that? was literally the stupidest question for the last, I think. Yeah, possibly. You never know, just trying to fill in the time, would you? Come on, like you have to... If they're groomy here. <laughs> hey! What, why is your first name your first name? What what made you pick that one? <laughs> <laughs> this, we do have a bit of a da dance between Drone and SCV here, but uh, Drone taking a lot of damage. Gonna try and get the gas, but gets turned away. Oh, it makes it! Drone on the gas. And it reaper on the way for uh, you. I don't think he'll be bothered too much. He won't be really be rushing to get that gas. Because I don't think he'd suddenly change his player style to uh, go into... Uh, Hellion Banshee when he played two non Hellion Banshee games earlier. But he, I mean, he, it, it does stop him doing this. And it does deny the Reapers a little bit, unless uh, if he turns around to kill it, you know, the Reapers take a lot longer then to get across the map. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, interestingly, he actually let that Gas Chaser finish or the Extractor finish. Usually that wouldn't happen, usually they would cancel it. I haven't seen that happen too many of a time, but the, it doesn't really provide you with too much vision. It definitely doesn't give you an idea of when anything's coming. So. But it just denies that second gas, so no Hellion Banshee's gonna be happening. Or he will know that because that gas is would just be killed so fast, if it was. Interestingly, in our near expansion, it is going to free down here, so just a standard game, the Reapers can not come over. It's not going to take too much done. Spawn and pool is ready, and Queen's only being queued up now. And there is such lanes on the way, though. Kind of an interesting number. Yeah. You could be overdoing it a little bit. These things, like, you know, I, I don't think it's so bad. Um, you, you know, because I mean, you, you even make four six, and you know, six is just a little bit safe. He's actually already lost one. Now he's going to try and get us around, but he's just going to lose another thing. And uh, this queen's, <laughs> when you have a Zerg playing this situation, it seems like your queen's taking eternity to come out. And yeah. it's like, wow, he's actually going to lose another thing here if uh, you film can get the click. No, he misses it. But I mean, now there's another reap. Like, that was really nice trading off, trading three things. For free, it's it's nice. Good start. Yeah, it was well done. Uh, what I was actually wondering, do you think Tamikas is going to play safe? We've seen him get the malice every time he's played safe. Do you think he'll be yet again try it? I don't see why. I mean, I don't see why he shouldn't. I mean, I mean, he's the thing is he's looked progressively better against you, Phil. You know, in game yep. one, he didn't look so great, and he loses a drone. He had the natural, doesn't look at get the reaper. In game one, he didn't. He looked awful. Like he just got completely outplayed. In game two, he looked much better, but he still wasn't quite there. So in game three, knowing exactly what Uthermal is probably going to do, because this is the same build from Uthermal, he's probably going to again maybe improve a little bit more. We see some Lings trying to escape down the uh, right hand side of the map, and they're just going to die. R.I.P. Lings, and uh, Uthermal. Uh, <laughs> well, these Lings are probably just thinking, Tamikas, why didn't you love us? What what did we do so bad to first get made with no cream support and then to get sent out like this into the cruel harsh wilderness of the world of reapers? Interestingly, oh. you know, for our BS being thrown down and actually got just as I say that coming around at seven minute mark, it's actually quite late. No double gas has been taken yet, so he's kind of oh, delaying himself. He loses another drone, and that's a bit of a shame. There's that base coming down just before them reapers go. Oh, the reapers don't check back there. Um, now they will, no. but they actually miss it. So. Yeah, is that is that base right? Yeah, I guess it is actually. Oh, okay. Is it? 
Is that base not like one text too far like south east? No, that's right. Um, bases are weird. We have uh, Reapers again coming in, trying to be aggressive, and again getting out with their lives. And I mean, they've done so much. One of these Reapers has seven kills, the other has two. Do you, do you reckon? And the one with two is like taking all the damage as well. He's probably like, God damn it, man, you fucking kill stealer. <laughs> this, if this was Call of Duty, I'd be like pressing my microphone, just being like, God damn, what are you doing? Stop it. Back in the old days. And, oh, these are, these are Reapers. Well, one of them goes down, and guess what? It was the seven kill Reaper. Well, that's just karma of kill stealing, man. <laughs> what happens? What happens? The other Reaper's like, You got what you deserve. <laughs> I can only imagine that. Uh, yeah, my weird imagination. But these Hellions are going to pressure a little bit. They're move, moving in a quite an interesting way. So are these links, but I mean, they're actually going to get an SCV, which is trapped on the outside of the wall. And uh, I mean, that's really the first mistake, I guess, UFM has made this game, having his ha SCV in the wrong position. Maybe getting his uh, Reaper Corp, but I, again, I think that's common, not a mistake. And yep. uh, nice little play from Tamika has actually managed to slip them links out. Look at that, he knows that Tamika, uh, UFM will chase to the bottom right. And so he just brought them to the left a bit and then, you know, just moved them back. So keeping his lingers alive. Now, this is what I thought Tamikas would do in the first series of the day. I completely changed things up. And Ufim will scan the main. So he's no lair. And the Bailing Nest is in the natural too. So basically, Tamikas is going to go for a huge Bailing Bust. These lingers are getting away unseen to the bottom side of the map. But will the rest of them be seen as well? Now, it's not really as important because they can cross the map very quickly. As long as these ones which, aren't gonna, which are going to make the initial Bailings aren't seen. As a few film getting ready to take his third base, you know, he's got absolutely nothing here. And, uh, well, a lot of things are actually going down at the main base, and that's kind of bad because, you know, they're his reinforcements, right? Like, they're the things that, they're the things that I had to come in and help out. He sees the third base now, you film, does he? He sees no drones, and does he start reacting to this? No. He, uh, in fact, moves out, and that's not going to work out too well against Banner's Wolf. And anybody sees them, he sees them on his mini map. If he's watching, if he's paying attention, he stares at oh, there's so many banelands, I don't really think it's gonna work. Oh dear. I mean, there's maybe able to kite them. Yeah, but there's, there's too many lanes. But I mean, yeah, there's so many links, you can only kite for so long here, and I mean, there's so many banelands, look how many banelands there is. There's like 16, 17 left over, and these hellions are getting such good shots off. It's just not even gonna matter. The first uh, banelands come in here, they bust down them supply deepers, U Thermal hits the supply block. Medivacs come out, they're not going to help us there, trying to turn away, does he get his wall up, he just gets his wall up in time here, some more bands are starting, continue to go down, <laughs> Hellions are cleaning links coming across the map, and there's still banners left over. This reminds me of MII versus Clustered, Jarchi trying to hold it all in. Yeah man, this they is, if he holds this, this would be crazy impressive, as the banners aren't really connecting on the SCVs in all honesty, the SCVs at the third base, they're going to die to these follow-up Zerglings here. Ufilm was still supply blocked. He's kept that many SCVs alive, but I actually think that might hurt him. Like, he might have been better if he'd actually lost, like, 10 SCVs so that he could start making Marines faster, because that's going to help him deal with this follow-up. But Tamikas only has three banelands this time, you know. He kind of stopped mining gas to get as many links as possible, and... Okay, I, I lie. He's actually he's actually <laughs> just already made the banelands right. Just call me an idiot. Round number two is about to come in here, and it's not going to be easy. No, definitely not. These buildings nice should position. be able to crash through here. They might go for the bunker. Yeah, this is this is still really tough for you, uh, but he's getting more and more marines, and I mean these uh, banners, they they don't have speed. And look at the split. The split is really impressive, and absolutely nothing gets done. Wow. Wow, that was insane. And I mean, there's still links here, but I mean, the marines with medivacs not going to get anything done, and uh, the mine should burrow. In fact, the mine gets picked off, but still. This isn't good to me because he's continuing to attack, he's continuing to all in, but Ufilm just gets into a better and better position and he's even going to kill some more from him. Bane, this attack's over, I mean, it's not going to do anything from this point. He can no. pick up in these medevacs and get out if he wants, but he's going to target down oh. some Bane lanes. All the Bane go down. That was beautifully done. Oh my god. Wow, the... what a hold. If this was me, I'd be sat at my keyboard crying. Ufilm <laughs> keeps his cool, keeps his nerve with a single bunker. With Marines out of position, he holds. And I mean, what crazy game to keep up his macro during all of this, to micro that Hellions at the start. And he knows where these uh, Balins are trying to hide now. And he's going to kill off so many of these Zerglings. The Balins are going to start going down as well. If he talks to them, he actually forces the cancel in. That's what he needs to do. He's still and continuing I mean, now, with this. I, I know, he's going to continue with this. But I mean, there's just the Marine numbers. They keep on growing. How do you ever stop this effort growing Marine numbers with pure Zergling and slow Baneling? He doesn't even have a. I mean, he has to continue because he doesn't have a lair. He has no tech. 
He's down on workers. He didn't even kill that many workers. You know, with all of this, he killed 15 workers, which is honestly nothing, considering like ten, or, like seven or so of them were at the third base, which was unprotected. Like, and now there's Halibats here as well. And as long as you film a split, there, there should be nothing that goes wrong. And I mean, the Balans just—they don't trade. They don't trade well enough. And well, I mean, another wave just dies very anticlimactically. And GG is called. Tamikus realizes you can't just keep doing that. He knows it's game over.